I'm Frankie Greek for Uprax. I'm here today with multi Grammy Award winning and most recently Emmy Award winning yes. producer and pianist Robert Glasper. Yes. Hello. 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 Thank you for being with us today. No problem. No so problem. we are here today in uh, Capitol Records. We are in the studio right now. Yes. Hanging out. You've been here all day. Yes. Um, and we have a couple things we want to talk to you about. Most importantly, this coming Monday you're holding an event here in Los Angeles. Yes. Help Houston Heal. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what that is. So I'm from Houston, Texas. I've had some family members who have lost houses and cars and all that kind of stuff and some friends, family members, friends of friends who have like actually passed away, you know, in the middle of all that stuff. So it's definitely a time of need there. And so uh, me and some of my friends from Houston uh, decided to come together and make a, do a benefit to raise money um, so we can give people there some relief. Um, and uh, myself, Latoya Luckett, um, and my, uh, my best friend, Brian Michael Cox, um, we're all doing this together. We all went to the same high school as well. Oh, cool. Uh, high school for, for, for performing in visual arts. That's amazing. Yeah, so we decided to do something here in LA um, because a lot of people are here. A lot of people don't want to fly to Houston right now. You know, right. I mean, people are trying to do benefits in Houston, but it's like, ah, people aren't trying to really fly there and figure things out. And Houston's not really, it's not rebuilt yet. So it's not really just ready for, you know, to have a bunch of shows. So given how extensive your discography is, what are you planning on performing on Monday and will you be collaborating with any of those artists that you just mentioned? Yeah, I'm going to go, it's, some of it's literally going to be up in the air because people are just saying, hey, we're going to come through, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or some people are like, I have a studio session, but I'm going to come through, I'm, I'm flying in that day for something, but I'm going to come through. So it's going to be up in the air, whoever comes through, it's kind of how my shows are in general, like right. when I do shows. People just walk, fall through. So, aside from the concert, you are a very busy guy. You've had a very busy year. Uh, we tasted a little bit earlier, but you recently won an Emmy with Common. Yes. For the letter Song to the Free, which was in Ava DuVernay's Netflix documentary, 13. Yes, yes. Uh, so, why do you think that that song in particular resonated so much? Um, because of the times that we're going through now. I mean, the, the song talks about, you know, the Trump administration <laughs> and what's what's going on with that. It just talks about racism in America. Um the film itself talks about the, the 13th is uh, is in reference to the 13th Amendment, which is basically the uh, it's modern day slavery. You know, what I mean, um, it's basically a way to make people slaves without them being slaves. You know, you put them in jail, therefore that was an amendment. You put them in jail, therefore, you know, you can treat them like slaves and make money off it, make profit off it. So the more people you have in jail, then you know the cheaper labor is, and you know, big corporations become a part of that and now you don't want the jails to be empty you want people in them you know what I mean so we're just that the, the, just is that and there's a lot of things so I think I think that um, the way we with with Ava's film and you know the lyrics that Common wrote for that song mm -hmm. is you know it's just really speaks to everyone how did you react when you heard the news about winning Miami it's funny I was in Europe I was in um where I was. I think I was in Germany or something and I was just about to walk on stage from my show and Ava texted me like congratulations you're nominated for an Emmy and I didn't even know we were in the runnings for it or anything you know I didn't know anything I was like for what <laughs> what are you talking about huh who what you know and she told me for Legend of the Free I was like oh my gosh that, that just the nomination itself is like oh man this is great you know what I mean so I was I was happy just to be nominated and to know I'm going to go to the Emmys is cool, you know what I mean? Right. But, you know, when they called when they called my name, called me and Common and Kareem's name, I was just like, oh, my God, this really happened, you know? And it's great when you win something like that on, on that kind of platform for this, for what we're talking about, for what we believe in. Right. You know, it gives it a bigger platform, you know what I mean? And it's great you can win something so uh, so prestigious by telling the truth with something that's real that we all feel... Uh, feel passionate about you for know? sure so that's the best kind of award you can get you know Definitely. as far as the current administration goes I mean I feel like it's it's mm -hmm. it's more of the same other than you know Barack and probably Clinton mm -hmm. you know a little bit in there but other than that for the history of America it's been pretty much the same it's just now there's Twitter <laughs> you know what I mean and now there's Instagram so it's right. just more obvious Trump is just being more obvious about it even with the killing of black people by police and all that stuff that's been around, 
you know, now we just can say, ha, see, it's really happening and everybody can see it. Right. Now, racism is at a point where it's in your face and you can see it. And there are still people who still fight the fact that and don't, don't want to believe that it's here. You know what I mean? But now we can say, look, it's here. Came up on my Instagram post. <laughs> you know what I mean? We can like prove it now. You know what I mean? So that's where we are in America right now. I think. So I want to bring it back to Monday. Help yes. Houston heal. 8 yes. p.m. at the Troubadour. Um, 8 p.m. at the Troubadour. What message do you feel like people who are attending the event, like what's what's the goal for them to take away about Houston, about music, about um, activism? Basically, we're all human. You're a human first. What you know, Musician is what we do. Whatever you do for a living is what you do. But the first thing is you're a person. You know what I mean? So, And you're a person that didn't make it on your own. You know, there was somebody or a group of people or whatever that got you to where you are. So you always have to remember you're a person first and you're not going to take any of the stuff that you've retained with you when you pass away. You know what I mean? You didn't ask to come here. You don't know when you're going. You know, so, you know, that's my that's my thing. I'm like, always remember you're a person first and try to help whenever you can. Whatever you can do. If somebody's in need, you try to help. That's Absolutely. it. That's simple. <laughs> and especially if you could use the gift that God gave you to do that. You know what I mean? If you can use a gift. Everybody doesn't have that kind of gift that can raise money. You know what I mean? Like, right. I do what I'm doing and money comes and then I can give it away. So Monday, 8 p.m. at the Troubadour, there will be more information about the benefit in the comments below and the uh, organi organizations that will be benefiting from yes. tickets and everything. Exactly. And we're using real organizations, the grassroots. Yes. For organizations that really help. The same the Red Cross and none of that other stuff. You know what I mean? People this who are on the ground. People that are actually on the ground, for sure. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Frankie for Uprocks. And I'm Robert Glasper. Uprock rocks, baby. <laughs>